Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here and welcome to my channel and today how to check the radiator fan on your Vespa GTS just to make sure that it cuts in when the engine gets too hot. But before we get started, I think we'd better have a nice cup of tea. Hey careful man, there's a beverage here, eh? So this is my Vespa GTS 300, but this should be the same in all GTS models or any water-cooled Vespa models. And what you're doing is you're basically just running the engine till it gets hot and checking that the radiator fan is going to cut in correctly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start it up. At the moment it is cold and we're just going to let it run for five to ten minutes and let the engine get warm. So the radiator on my GTS goes right across the front there. It's just behind the front wheel. So let's just pan round to the front. So this is the other side of the radiator here. And the actual radiator cooling fan is at the back of this. So we've just got a little grate here, so if we just have a quick look inside here. You can just see the radiator fan there. So we've got the engine running at the moment, it's going to take 5 or 10 minutes to just to warm up. Right, so now it's getting nice and hot. Now it should cut in when the temperature gauge gets to about here. If it doesn't, switch it off because you do not want to overheat your engine. So let's just keep an eye on the fan. And there it goes, absolutely brilliant. So now that is going to start cooling the engine down, cooling the water in the radiator and lovely jubbly. So that's just a really simple check to make sure that your radiator fan is going to cut in and cool down your engine. As I say, if it gets anywhere close to that red, switch off immediately. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. Be sure to hit that bell notification tab.